Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far, 13 problems I've completed on partnership accounts. In this video, problem number 14th, I'm going to explain in detail. So remember, every problem we have different points. Almost 80 to 90 percent points are same, but some points will be different in every problem. So you have to focus on those new points which we are learning in every different problem. So before starting the problem number 14, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points written on the board, then I'll explain. Now, see the problem number 14. The following is the balance sheet of Khan, Ismail and Giri, who share the profits and losses in the proportion of one half, one third and one sixth respectively. So three partners are there, Khan, Ismail and Giri. And the profit sharing ratio is half, one by two, uh, then one by three and one by six. Uh, the balance sheet is given credit house 5000, capitals Khan 57000, Ismail Giri. Now, land and rolling, machinery, stock, debtors, cash. This is the balance sheet of the three partners. They agreed to take Ashish into partnership as from 1st January 2005, giving him 116th share in the profits on the following terms. New partner is being admitted. His name is Ashish. And he is allowed 1 16th share. In the whole profits, 1 16th profit goes to Ashish. Remaining profit will be shared by the old partners in the old ratio. That Ashish should bring in 3000 as goodwill and 8000 as capital. The new partner Ashish has to bring cash for capital and goodwill. His capital is 8000 and 3000 goodwill he has to bring. Then the machinery to be depreciated by 12%. The value of machinery should be decreased. So machinery account should be credited. Revaluation account debit, machinery account credit. Uh, that a reserve of 5% be created for doubtful debts. Reserve for doubtful debts. The entry will be revaluation account debit, reserve for doubtful debts credit. That stock be depreciated by 10%. The value of stock should be decreased. So revaluation account debit, stock account credit. That the value of land and building be brought up to 62,000. So what is the present value of land and building given in the balance sheet? 48,000. From 48,000 we have to increase and make it 62,000. So there is appreciation of land and building. So entry will be land and building account debit, revaluation account credit. That after making the above adjustment, the capital of the old partners be adjusted according to the new profit sharing proportion. Actual amount to be brought in by or to be paid off to them as the case may be. Just like the previous problem. After making all the adjustment, we have to see whether the capital is more or less compared to the capital calculated according to new profit sharing ratio. The so first requirement is we have to find out what should be the capital of Khan, Ismail and Giri according to the new profit sharing ratio. So first we calculate that one. Prepare the revaluation account, partner's capital account and opening balance sheet of the firm as newly constituted. That means we have to prepare revaluation account, partner's capital account and the new balance sheet after the admission of the new partner Ashish. That's it. So first we make some working notes regarding calculation of new profit sharing ratio and what should be the profit, what should be the capital of old partners according to new profit sharing ratio. Here are the calculations. Remember always keep a notebook, pencil, calculator, pen ready while, cal while watching my video because I am saying important points. You will forget it simply if you watch, listen the lecture. You have to note it down. You have to maintain the running notes. Then only you can be able to get the complete command on this topic. Now, old ratio of Khan, Ismail and Giri are 
1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 6. It is given in the first line. Three partners profit sharing ratio. New partner Ashish share is 1 by 16. That is given. 1 by 16 is the new partners. The remaining share after giving him 1 16th, what is the remaining share? So 1 minus 1 by 16, you will get 15 by 16. 1 minus 1 by 16, you will get 15 by 16. This is the remaining share. And this 15 by 16 will be shared by the old partners in the old ratio. 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 1 by 6. So new ratio will be Khan. What is the remaining share? 15 by 16. This will be multiplied by the old ratio. The old ratio is 1 by 2. So 15 by 16 into 1 by 2, you will get 15 by 32. Right? This is the new share of Khan. Ismail, 15 by 16 into 1 by 3, you will get 15 by 48. Similarly, Giri, 15 by 16 into 1 by 6, you will get 15 by 96. So we got the new ratio of Khan, Ismail and Giri. So new ratio will be 15 by 32, 15 by 48, 15 by 96, 1 by 16. 1 by 16 is the new partner Ashish share. Now here the denominators are different 32, 48, 96, 16. The highest value is 96. So we convert all denominator as 96. So how many times we have to multiply 32 to make it 96? Three times. So we multiply numerator and denominator by 3. So here 15 by 32 into 3 by 3. So what it will become 15 3 is 45. 32 into 3 96. We want to make all denominator 96. So 45 by 96. Here 15 by 48. How many times we have to multiply 48 to make it 96? Two times. So we multiply numerator and denominator by 2. 15 into 2, 30 divided by 48 into 2 is 96. Now here, 15 by 96, already it is 96. Whereas last one, 1 by 16, we want to convert 16 into 96. So how many times do you multiply? 6 times. So 16 into 6 is 96. 6 by 96. So ratio comes to 45, 30, 15, 6. If we, multi if we simplify, you will get 15 is to 10 is to 5 is to 2. See, if we simplify 45 is to 30 is to 15 is to 6, all the values are divisible by 3. That means 45 divided by 3, you will get 15. 30 divided by 3, you will get 10. 15 divided by 3, you will get 5. And 6 divided by 3, you will get 2. So we can write 15 is to 10 is to 5 is to 2. This is the new profit sharing ratio. By using this new profit sharing ratio, we have to find out what should be the capital of Khan, Ismail and Giri. So here, total capital for 1 16th share, for getting 1 by 16th share, how much cash is brought as capital by the new partner Ashish? 8,000. Ashish capital is 8,000. For how much share he is bringing? 1 16th. So what is the total capital of the firm? Multiply 16 into 8,000, you will get 1,28,000. So 1,28,000 is the capital of the whole firm. Then what is the share, what is the capital of Khan according to new profit sharing ratio? So 15 plus 10 plus 5 plus 2, 32. So 1,28,000 into 15 by 32, 15 is the share of Khan. 15 by 32, it comes to 60,000. So according to new profit sharing ratio, Khan's capital should be 60,000. Ismail, 1,28,000 into 10 by 10 by 32, you will get 40,000. And Giri, 1,28,000 into 5 by 32, 20,000. So these should be the capital of all the partners according to the profit sharing ratio, new profit sharing ratio. Now we are required to make the revaluation account without passing the entries directly we have to post it into ledger account. Now uh, all the incomes if the asset is increased appreciation take it on the credit side. If there is depreciation of assets take it on the debit side. In the problem appreciation is there only on land and building. Actually, land and building book value was 48,000 and we are required to make it to 62,000. 
तो 62 minus 48, 14,000. 14,000 is the appreciation in the value of land and building. So by land and building, 14,000. Now remaining assets, depreciation. First of all, machinery. Machinery to be depreciated by 12%. What is the value of the machinery? 7,000. 7,000 into 12%, you will get 1,840. You will get 840. So revaluation account debit, machinery account credit debit set. Then reserve for doubtful debts. So entry will be revaluation account debit, reserve for doubtful debts credit. So reserve for doubtful debts. So if you calculate 5% on debtors, 25,200, you will get 1,260. Similarly stock, stock to be depreciated by 10%. What is the book value of stock? 29,000. 29,000 into 10%, 2,900 stock or all the assets and liabilities are revalued then we take the total 14,000 credit side is more when credit side is more there is a profit so from 14,000 minus 840 minus 1260 minus 2900 the balancing figure is the profit on revaluation that is 9,000 now this 9,000 profit on revaluation will be shared by the old partners in the old ratio Old profit sharing ratio. So 9000 into 1 by 2, 4500 to Han, to Ismail, 9000 into 1 by 3, old ratio 1 by 3, 3000. Giri, 9000 into 1 by 6, 1500. This is the share of revaluation profit of all the old partners. Now we will make the bank account. So before making bank account, we will see what are the adjustment. What are the adjustments regarding uh, the capital accounts? how much they are having right so before making this bank account first we'll make the partners capital account partners capital account you can see here the uh, balance balance brought down 57000 and share of revaluation profit how much profit they